Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When I was trying to get to the this podcast off the ground, I had so many questions. How do I record an episode? Where do I find my background music? How do I get my show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places people like to listen? Where do I find the advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% reducedly easy to use. So, if you want to start a podcast, go to anchor.fm slash start to join me and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. I can't wait to hear your podcast. Okay, guys. Well, I know it's the holiday season, and I don't have Star Wars Rise of Skywalker to do, because it won't come out till either the first week or the second week of Saturday. Sorry, the second weekend of January. But, although, I am welcome to talk about the, since it's the holiday season, let's talk about the holiday special. Well, did I ever do the one with uh, George Lucas? Well, to tell you the truth, I, I think I did. But, uh... <sighs> But, yeah, it said that John Favreau wants to do the holiday special. And I'll tell him, no, no, Favreau, no, that's a bad idea, Favreau. Uh-uh, no uh Don't do that, uh-uh. Well, okay, yeah, I do want to have that holiday special, but I want it to be as bad as George Lucas's. Not worse than George Lucas's holiday special. Because, you know... With Chewie's uh, wife and son. With Chewie's uh, wife and son. And his father. We're celebrating Life Day on Kashyyyk. Which is like a holiday. Which is like Christmas. Where we're the, we're the Wookiee family are together. But at least there was a good thing about this holiday special. It's a star studded cast, even though that was a disappointment to hear them. And of course, I'm relaxing at the cloning facility where my clone, Mr. 46 Pokemon Amateur, is resting until we get Jedi Fallen Order. But at least we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. We're going to wait. And the Force will be with you. Always. But, let's talk about the holiday special. And like I say, you know, I I love Christmas and all. But, do we really need another Star Wars holiday special? I mean, one was bad enough, but two? I want it to be equally as bad. Not not worse than, just bad. But I bet if the holiday special is better than George Lucas, I'm going to admit it is better than George Lucas's holiday special. But I'm not, and I'm not defending. I mean, there's going to be some flaws. I mean, I'm not here to defend John Favreau's play for a holiday special, but, you know, I just want it to be as bad as the George Lucas one, you know? I don't want it to be worse than. Although, but although I do like the premise of it, the uh, Wookiees, you know, Chewing Han goes to pla- goes to the planet Kashyyyk, where for the holiday special because of that background on Star Wars Battlefront for the, you know, from 2004, the Legends, not the canon one. I like that uh, map on there. Like, 
like like on the uh and they got a front well, I forgot the uh, name of that battlefield on Kashyyyk. I mean, there's two of them. While Camino, Geodosis, Andor, and Huff gets one. Well, we already know. Feed and the planes are at Naboo. And, of course, the harbor and the citadel are at Ranfar. Before it became a climate. Before it became a climatal thing. Before it became... But before that, it was like Hoth, frozen. It is a frozen. It was a frozen planet, like Hoth. Before they put it in the canon. But we all do have Planet Kuryeti, you know, which is a jungle planet. But but I'm talking about the uh, level with the pillars. Those were the same ones for Battlefront Two. They got the idea. From the infamous holiday special. Huh. How about that? But there are other positives. Like the animated version. Where where Luke. Met. Met the Mandalorian. Who is not an actual Mandalorian. Boba Fett. Have met Boba Fett. Who is of course. The man with few words. Well not in the prequels. Well, yeah, he is a boy of few words. And then, he became a man of few words. And we know his fifth one is... Ah! Yeah, that counts as the fifth line. That scream he did. Yeah. <laughs> but, but that is a good thing out of the holiday special, is the animated version. But I do got a bit the drawing of uh, Luke, Han, Chewie, well, Han, Chewie, uh, Han, Luke, Leia is pretty atrocious. But I do like the art style of Boba Fett, Chewie, R2, C3PO, and Darth Vader. But the rest are, but the three main heroes are, oh, nightmare fuels. At their animation design. But, but Darth Vader's is really menacing in animated form. And that's what I'm here to talk about. It's the holiday special. But is there any connections to it? Yes, I already mentioned about Battlefront 2. Battlefront. I already mentioned about Battlefront. Battlefront 2. Merry Christmas. And so on. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. But. That's a good thing about those. Now what's uh, bad about those. Is of course. Harvey Corbin. Who is of course. Famous for the role of the Great Gazoo. Of the Great Gazoo. The alien from. Uh, the Flintstones. Now, I'm not saying anything bad about Harvey Corbin. I, I saw him on the long shot. I thought he was really, really hilarious. But. Well, as a cooking instructor, a female cooking instructor, that. Stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir. Stir, whip, stir, whip, 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 stir. Man, that is like. That is atrocious. With Chewie's wife. Did the cooking. The whip star whip star whip star whip star whip 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 star. Star whip star whip 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 star. I mean you can't even keep up with the appearances. And yes I watch keeping up with appearances. The. The Britcom. Which is a sitcom. In. In the UK, which is a which is a sitcom in the UK. No, I enjoy watching Britcoms, and I enjoy watching Monty Python. You know, yeah. But I'm just saying that's of course. But John Favreau, I hope I hope he get better. I I mean I mean he's the writer. Like I don't think he's writer. I think he's the director of Elf. He, that's a Christmas movie. He did Elf the Christmas movie with one of my favorite 
as the nail cast members, Will Ferrell as Buddy. You know, Buddy the Elf, who's of course adopted by Bob Newhart's character, and then, but of course he he's got a father played by James Caan, who appeared on something 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 Dark Side, the Family Guy Empire Strikes Back special, the, the Family Guy special that satirizes Empire Strikes Back. Right after a New Hope satirization. Well, two years after. And then, next year is... It's a trap. Well, that's the name of it, because it's a quote from our of Akerbar. But of course, you know. Yeah, but I thought that... I thought what George Lucas did was satirization. I mean, there are a few things I've defended. The cast. The uh, premise of the story. The... Uh, you know, the Chewie's uh, family are celebrating Life Day, and they need him. They need him. They need uh, Han, Luke, and Leia to join for Life Day. You know, and Planet Kashyyyk. But at least, and the animation, and the animated short of the holiday special. And I like that, too, you know. Luke, me, Bubba Fett. But Boba Fett works for Vader. And that's what it say, you know. Judge a book by its cover, you know. Don't judge a book by its cover. Okay. He's that one to help you out, but now you're you're the bounty. Boba Fett is a bounty hunter. Yeah, but John Favreau, on the other hand, needs to do this, you know. Need to do it right. Need to make how life day should be handled, but but that's why it's a Christmas. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do about it for me. I will see you guys next time. I, of course, happy Life Day. May the force be with you, and have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.